No, but is that is that with Apocalypse the Tanner? No, Apocalypse Now is Ted Nugent and this guy that calls himself Pigman, who has a show on uh, the one of the Sportsman's Channel, the Outdoor Channel. They shot like two hundred and fifty plus pigs in an afternoon, and they all did it out of helicopters. <laughs> and it's like da 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 da, <laughs> like <laughs> flying. It's fucking, it's insane. And you watch, you like, how is this legal? Like. I guess it's legal because you have to do it that way. They 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 have so many pigs. Like here it is. This oh, is yeah. this is a pork clips now. <laughs> it's all slow mos of headshots. That's pig man. That's the other thing. The hunters for the hungry. I mean, yeah, that's they, a really good. That's it's a an really amazing good program. Yeah, they shoot. An incredible amount of these pigs, and then feed them to people, and it it is good, man. There's a there's a guy out here named uh, Jesse Griffiths who owns a great restaurant called Die Due in Austin, and he runs uh, a school where he teaches people how to hunt. He teaches them first how to shoot rifles, then how to hunt, then uh, they hunt hogs. Teaches them how to butcher them and cook them, and he's an amazing chef. And hmm. this guy, I mean, if if you think that wild hogs taste like shit, talk to this guy. And because he he'll knock oh it out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Some of the best meals I've ever eaten in my life. He he cooked diver duck, which everybody says are disgusting. I've like only had scop. it once. Yeah, I've only yeah. had it once from him. Because they say the diver ducks eat all the shit that's at the bottom, all yeah. the muck that's at the bottom, and most people say they taste disgusting. He cooked it. It was one of the best foods I've ever eaten in my life. Really? Yeah. He just knows how to do it right. He's like, it's not that these things taste bad. It's just people don't have the knowledge of how to prepare them correctly. Well, if you think about it, you know, you can go to any gun store or pawn shop and buy a 30-year-old Remington 700 with a scope on it for 400 bucks. A box of bullets is going to cost you $30. License is going to cost you $35. You can go shoot a hog you can go shoot a, a deer which someone's got to manage them the ecosystem's right. demolished so there's nothing else doing it so they're just going to overpopulate and disease and you can create a year's worth of meat for 600 bucks yeah it's incredible and then the next year you cut it down to 300 and then the next year you cut it down to 150 yeah and it's fun yeah yeah it's a fun thing to do yeah and it's and uh, you're, taking, you're taking responsibility for your own for your own food yeah and still, there's people that think there's something wrong with that. But that's how disconnected society well, is. Well, that's the, look, I think one of the most absurd positions anyone can take is they're a vegan for an ethical reason. It's preposterous. You could do it for a medical reason, even though I don't know what that reason would be, but maybe you can't process you know, meat, you can't process proteins like that. But to do it from an ethical reason is absurd. And the reason I say that is I have plowed a field. It is carnage. It is 12 feet of carnage. And every single plant that you eat is going to be tilled into the ground in some capacity. So you're going to kill everything when that's you plow that, that field. famous uh, conversation that Kevin Costner has uh, in Yellowstone. I wrote, that's why I wrote it. Yeah. People have to understand. You have to take ownership. That same thing, Ted Nugent has saying, said this on this podcast. He yeah. said, if you want to kill the most things, mm -hmm. become a vegan. Yeah, 100%. If you're thinking about individual life, if you don't think that one life equals one life, if you think that small things aren't as valuable as large things, that's a totally different discussion, and that's a weird discussion. But if you think that all life is sacred, well, what about the lives of the ground nesting birds, fawns? Yeah. What about the lives of rodents, insects? All those things are getting demolished. The average organic avocado farm in central california is going to kill on average around nineteen thousand ground squirrels a year <sighs> that's not counting the billions of bees because they're going to bring the bees up from brazil to pollinate the, the trees and then they're going to fucking die they're not sending them back anywhere they're not keeping them in some no they're gone they're going to spray with some organic which is probably just like compressed cayenne pepper they're going to spray the trees they're going to kill every bug every plant Everything. All you got to do is drive I-5 through the San Joaquin Valley, and you won't see. You'll see plenty of almonds. You'll see plenty of all these different groves. You won't see any birds. You won't see anything else. Yeah. They fucking killed them all. 
Yeah, that's a hard pill for yeah. a lot of people to swallow that think they're doing something that's ethically correct. Well, you, if you look anywhere in, in the ecosystem, take man out of it. Virtually everything is, is living at the expense of another organism to the degree that if a certain weed grows up over the grass, it's killing the grass. If the tree grows up, this little, little sapling grows up over the grass, it's killing the grass. The grass grows up before the weeds, it kills the weeds, kills the flowers, kills this. It, everything is in competition with everything else. There is not a vegan fish. There's not a vegetarian fish. Every single fish, every frog, they are, <laughs> they're, eating, they're eating another organism to survive, every one of them. And that's what we did for as long as, whenever we split from apes, that's what we did. Apes still do it. They talk about, oh, they eat fruit. They eat fruit till they get a hold of those little freaking panzer monkeys. Yeah. And then they go to town, those chimpanzees. They didn't even know about that until that David Attenborough documentary. Yeah. You ever see that one? Yeah. They're eating the, the, oh, eating dude, the monkeys Oh, dude, they go to the war. If you ever eating wonder where our violent streak comes from, oh, yeah. watch chimpanzees. Yeah. Have you seen Chimp Nation? No. That's another great Netflix series. Yeah. Fuck. Incredible. They, yeah. they kill each other. They, 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 and I asked the guy, I go, how often do they kill monkeys? He goes, we really didn't show how many times they killed monkeys because they, they do it so often. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's literally their preferred food. Yeah. They, They're they going to eat the monkeys. leaves and the fruits and everything until they need that protein. Yeah, they, they eat the fruit because it's easy. Yeah. But if they can find monkeys, they go after monkeys. Yeah. And they eat them alive. They just start chewing yeah. on them. <laughs> Pull, there's, a, there's a video of this monkey. He's like screaming while this chimp is eating him from the hips down. Just <laughs> You see his little face. It just looks so much like us to watch him just, just get eaten alive by a chimp who also looks a lot like us. It's just so fucked. Yeah. That's that's the real nature. That's not vegan nature. That's not this bullshit utopian artificial paradise that people have created in their mind that they're doing if they're eating vegan. It's just not true. Unless you're growing all of your own food in your yard, unless you have a contained environment where you're composting and using mulch and you, you're making sure that everything that you grow, you're picking it yourself, you're just fencing it off to keep squirrels from eating it. If that's not the case, you're involved in murder. But even then, even then, you don't think you're going to have a what happens when the grasshoppers come. Right. And they'll get through that fence. Oh, yeah. And they'll so devastate then your crops. You're yeah. going to have to kill the grasshoppers. You're going to kill yeah. the grasshoppers, and what are you going to do when the squirrel gets in? You right. can't fence off your trees. Yeah. So what are you going to do? Well, you're either going to give away a lot of your crop, which you're not going to want to do, or you're going to come up with a way to, or you're going to run the squirrel off. Okay, well, then you just killed it because you ran it out of its habitat. So it just dies a slower death. Oh, 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 oh,